Hey guys, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah! Alright, you guys are gonna get something a little new from me today. You're gonna get a story. I don't normally do stories on my channel, but I gotta tell you, I'm inspired. I got inspired! And you know what? I hope you dig this shit, because if you do, then I might just do more videos like this and tell more stories about stuff that happened in my life. And when I say I was inspired, it's all because of this one dude. This one of my favorite YouTube commentators going right now, Blizzle Brasco, baby. You gotta check this guy out. I will leave his link in the description and I will leave a link to his video that inspired me. It's about his first time ever going to the strip club. It's hilarious. This guy's one of the smoothest and funniest commentators you will ever watch. I guarantee it. Go check him out. But I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story about when I went to the strip club one time. This was not the first time I went to the strip club, but it is by far the funniest slash weirdest time I've ever had at a strip club. So, I'm gonna try to start from the beginning here. I'm kind of just going off the top of my head here. I didn't plan this out or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to just remember this as best I can. So, I'm at work one day with a bunch of my buddies. And it's a Friday. And you know, we're winding down and we're getting, we're trying to think of something to do. Friday night, let's, let's do something tonight. And obviously, I mean, don't need to go any further. We decided we're going to the strip club. Now at this point in time, there was a new guy at our work. He was there for maybe, give or take a month. He was very shy, very mild mannered, very polite, very calm. I mean, this guy was like the human version of a mouse. He would not hurt anybody. He was very shy, he just always walked around kind of like, yes, thank you, yes, okay, okay, I will do that, thank you. Okay, Indian guy, very nice guy, loved the guy, got along with the guy, great. Just not really our type of guy, but we felt, you know, why not include this guy? Why not let this guy come chill with us for the night? He seems like a decent guy. He seems like he doesn't get out too much. So let's invite him to the strip club. So we go up to him. His name's Gilmore, okay? Hey, Gilmore. We're all, we're all going to the strip club tonight. And we'd like you to come join us. You know, we're just going to go chill, have a couple of drinks, look at some titties, look at some asses, and have a good time, right? Just like guys do once in a while. And first he said, no, he doesn't want to go. So I'm like, all right, you know, I don't like to push people. If they don't want to go, they don't want to go. So I left it alone. But then my other buddy starts asking him. Then my other buddy starts asking him. Then my other buddy starts asking him. I think this is all at different times. Then he, Gilmore finally comes up to me later in the day and he says, he says, listen, everybody keeps asking me if I want to come tonight and I think I should come. And I was like, well, you should come. It would be good. You know, get out of the house, come chill with us for a bit, have a good time. No problem, right? And he said, okay, I'll come. And he was nervous. He didn't know what to expect. So I kind of laid out for him, you know, what to expect when you get there, how to act and all this stuff. You know, you don't want to be grabbing the titties and you don't want to be being rude. You got to be polite and mature and like a gentleman and all this kind of stuff. So he agreed to come. So we said, okay, this is the place. It's at this location, cross the street, address, whatever. Meet us there around the corner, whatever. So later that night, I get ready. My buddies get ready. We all meet up at a neutral location. We meet up with Gilmore at another neutral location. And we all walk to the club from there. So we get to the club and typical strip club. I don't know if you guys ever been to a strip club. A lot of you guys are probably too young for this. I'll try to keep it clean, okay? I'll try to keep it clean. Nothing too dirty in this video. Um, so we get there. It's a Friday night, so it's a pretty packed house, which is normal. And, you know, we sit down at the, at the table, order some drinks, and we're just chilling around, having a good time. I'm looking over at Gilmore. Gilmore's having a good time. He's not talking much. He's quiet. You know, we're trying to make conversation with him, trying to get in, get him into it, get him to open up a little bit, get him to loosen up, have a good time kind of thing. And, uh, you know, he's having a good time. He seems like he's enjoying himself. And we decide that we're going to go play some pool. So we go over to the pool tables and we're shooting some pool, having some drinks, shooting some pool, talk to some ladies, you know, just having a good time, doing what we do. Then it must have been, it was at least an hour goes by, you know, we played a bunch of games of pool and uh, all of a sudden I look up and I go, bro, where the fuck's Gilmore? You know, where'd he go? Like the guy vanished. Like he was, he was there one second and he wasn't there the next second. That's what it felt like to me. So we're like, what the hell? We don't know. Like, where's Gilmore? Where's Gilmore? So I started looking around for him. Okay. I'm looking around the club. It's not a huge place, but it's dark. So it's hard to exactly see. There's crowds of people everywhere. So it's hard to see you know, exactly where people are and stuff like that. But this guy is pretty easy to spot. He's tall, he had kind of a big head, dark skin, balding. I mean, he's, to me anyway, he looked very, very uh, distinguishable. I can point him out in a crowd very easy. So I'm just kind of like scoping out the crowd like this and then BAM, there's Gilmore. 
found Gilmore. Where did I find Gilmore? Oh, he's off in the corner way over there. Who's he with? Well, Gilmore's with a stripper. What's he doing with the stripper? <laughs> this guy was sucking her toes, bro. <laughs> this guy. That makes me laugh just saying that. He was sucking on her toes. He was on the couch. She was beside him. She had her leg up like this. And he was going to town on her feet, bro. Like going to town. He wasn't even being gentle about it. This mild-mannered, soft-spoken. This guy, I don't think this, guy, this guy's ever seen a pair of titties before, to be honest. I don't think he has, to be honest. And he's sucking on her toes, man. And let me just get this out there. Um, Age-wise, we're probably about in and around the age of 25. 25, 26, okay? This was not my first rodeo at the strip club. And I'd never seen a dude sucking on a woman's toes before. Like that. In a public place. And there, like I said, there was a bunch of people around. And no one was giving a shit. No one gave two shits at all. But he was going to town. And I go to my buddies. I go, yo, dude, I found Gilmore. I found Gilmore. They're like, where is he? Where is he? I just pointed. And they, they lost it. They lost it. They were killed over the pool table. We were crying so hard from laughing that there was a wet spot on the pool table. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit there. But, dude, it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen at a strip club. And, uh, to be honest, the rest of the night's a little bit of a blur. I don't even remember if we got him back and went home. I, I just don't remember that at all. But I do remember that that happened. I remember asking him about it the next day. And he loved it, man. He had a terrific time. He had an amazing time. He, unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, we created a monster because after that he started going back to the strip club every single weekend by himself Okay, by himself He was going every weekend and he was telling me every Monday. Oh, I was back at the strip club again And it was great. I met, met with that girl again, and we had a good time We were talking and he kind of started to think that this stripper was his girlfriend Which I mean, I don't want to really get into that. That's not the point. You know, she's just using him for money I don't know how much money he ended up giving her in the long run, but oh Boy, oh boy, oh boy what a friggin' time that was. I just, I couldn't believe what I saw. I couldn't believe it. He was just going to town, man. Like, I suck at thinking of analogies or metaphors or examples of what that looked like, but, ugh, kinda gross. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even suck on my girlfriend's toes. Like, I don't do that. That's not, that's not for me. I'm not a foot guy. But this guy, a stripper? He was going at it, man, going to town. He was going at it like he was getting paid to do it. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the story. So listen, if you like stories like this or any kind of stories, let me know in the comments down there. And maybe I'll do more more commentaries like this because I don't really do these kinds of things. So, you know, I obviously want to make stuff that's going to get views. And I want to make stuff that you guys are going to enjoy. So let me know if you enjoy it. Click the like button. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out Blizzle Brasco. You will not regret that shit. I guarantee that. But that's going to be it for me for now. I'm Vile Self. Until next time, villains, go suck some strippers' toes. <laughs> Later.